All right, so we just looked at an example where we use this formalism to approximate the, the area under a curve using, we looked at 16 rectangles, we looked at, well, we didn't quite do the work, but we talked about how you could adapt that to also look at, say, a thousand rectangles. Uh, so in general, um, when, when we're approximating an integral, Like so, there are sort of three standard choices that you make, right? Um, this, this is always going to be the same. The remaining choice that you have to make is in each of these intervals, we have to choose a point, right? We have to choose the point that we're going to plug into our function to get the height of the rectangle, okay? And, and so what the three options that you might see are sort of a, a left endpoint sum, so maybe we call that SL, okay, which is going to depend on, say, the number of rectangles, and that's going to be the sum I going from 1 to N, F of X I, times delta x, right, where delta x is b minus a over n, as we had here. There's the right endpoint sum. So there you use the other end of the interval, so you use i plus 1. Okay, and you could also do a midpoint approximation. Okay, so the midpoint is just the average of the two endpoints, right? So we go halfway in between xi and xi plus 1. If you are looking at numerical integration um, in your course, which you may skip depending on which course you're in, one of the things that you'll find is that generally the midpoint gives you a better approximation than doing either left endpoint or right endpoint. Typically the midpoint is, is your best bet. Okay? Um, one of the other things you can do, which we don't look at in, uh, in apex calculus, this is something you'd see in a more advanced textbook, is you can look at what are called Darboux sums. And in a Darboux sum, you use the fact that for a continuous function, you're always guaranteed on every one of these intervals, you're always guaranteed an absolute minimum and an absolute maximum, right? Um, if you choose the minimum on every interval uh, and you use that for the height of your rectangle, you get what's called a lower sum, which is kind of the um, you know, the lowest possible underestimate for your area. Um, if you choose the maximum, you get the upper sum, which is kind of the, the biggest possible overestimate for your area. Uh, and the true value lies somewhere in between. Um, and, then, and then you use some sort of, you know, limit arguments to, to show that uh, those two values will come together as you increase the number of rectangles. And this is how you um, convince people that this actually makes sense, what we're doing here, right? Um, when we're approximating these integrals. Uh, what we use instead of Darboux sums is we use something called a Riemann sum. Okay? So, um, so let delta x be a, so these are called uniform partitions. Okay? So it's exactly as, as we see here, okay? So whenever we're using equal width, this is, this is called a uniform partition, okay? Um, let ci belong to the ith subinterval, so between xi and xi plus 1. So that's, we're going to do that for i equals 1 to n. 
And we choose these however we want, right? We're not actually going to say anything about how we choose these C's, just that for each interval we're going to choose one. Okay. The so-called Riemann sum. Um, and, and I really should say, so Riemann's, it depends on choices. It depends on the partition delta x, so which, which depends on n, right? And um, we need a function. Okay, we need we need a function. The Riemann sum is is defined by. So, you'll see different notations for this. We might say R for Riemann. Uh, we might say F because we want to specify the function. Uh, we might say n for the number of intervals, or we might say delta x if we want to refer to the partition. And it's given simply by the sum i going from 1 to n, f of ci times delta x, right? So in particular, these left endpoint, right endpoint, and midpoint sums are all special cases of Riemann sums, right? They, these are Riemann sums. Um, but we allow Riemann sums to be a little bit more general, okay? Um, we allow some freedom in how we choose the points in each interval. Okay, that's a Riemann sum. Um, 